What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Our first story is coming from the hacker known as Rectangle. He tweeted out this, FaZe Clan Skypes a thousand percent confirmed, linking a paste bin of all the FaZe Clan members Skypes. He also said this, summary of last night, hacked a disabled kid and reset his phone with the boys. Scared to sucky, hacked FaZe Instagram and got into FaZe chat. Also in the news. Now guys, recently we've done two interviews here on Drum Alert, so there's a lot of little stories that I missed over the last couple days. Let's jump into it. If you haven't heard about this yet, this is big news. Microsoft announced that they want to have cross-platform between the Xbox One, Windows 10, and other online multiple networks. Yes, possibly PlayStation. So what exactly does this mean? This means if you're playing on an Xbox One, you can also play online against people on a PlayStation. Now, it's kind of interesting that Microsoft now wants to do this after terribly losing the console war with Sony. Also in the news, Basher is calling it quits. He tweeted out a couple days ago, I can't do YouTube anymore. It's not a career path that's enjoyable for me. It used to be, but it's time to move on. Take care, guys. Now, apparently Basher was just having a rough night because about 10 hours later in the morning, he said this, I've been doing YouTube for 10 years now, since June 15th, 2006. Yes. Sometimes I want to quit, and I come close, but I can't. It's now my life. You go, Basher. I believe in you. Also in the news, old school COD commentator iTemp got content ID'd by FaZe Rain. He tweeted out this, copyright claim, and my video, I'm very confused, at FaZe Rain, showing an image that virtual content was matched by Full Screen Inc. channel, Phase Rain. So just to be clear, Phase Rain didn't manually flag iTemp's videos. It seems like Phase Rain's network, Full Screen, somehow ran a program and detected there was some type of match. Also in the news, Phil DeFranco bought a brand new phone and got quite the surprise. He tweeted out this, what? The Samsung Galaxy S7 I bought from Best Buy has been labeled lost or stolen. I got this when setting up Ting with a warning saying, sorry, this phone has been flagged as lost or stolen. Best Buy, I knew you were up to no good. And for our final story, someone else that might be up to no good, but claims they're innocent, T. Martin. T. Martin tweeted out this, I don't recall signing up for Slut Roulette, sorry. Receiving an email to confirm his Slut Roulette live sign up. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the news today. Guys, if you love Drum Alert, make sure you slap a like on it. Let's shoot for two likes real quick. I wanna talk about my sponsor. You've probably seen this in the description. Azalt, they make dope mechanical keyboards that light up and shit. I love them, and the price is amazing, so if you're a console gamer that's been switching over to PC, but shit gets expensive, Azult is the way to go. $50 for this keyboard. The link's in the description. Drum Alert Nation, now over 1,160,000 subscribers. Yo, I'm ready to bet T. Martin really was on Slut Roulette.